Well, we came up the hill to meet him in the dirt patch. He was weeding. That was our first look at Aunt Peg's new old man. Well, Uncle Hank was 75. He lived well, and then he died, and none of us had nothing against her new old man. She liked his fiddling, no doubt liked his help on the rural route, and the rest didn't bear thinking about Aunt Peg's new old man. Now we sat down and we got fed a long grace, but oh, what a spread. The chicken was just an hour dead and the stew was made of barley. I pulled out my banjo after a while, but he didn't like the scrub style. Listen up, boy, this here's called going down to Raleigh. Going down to Raleigh! Going down to Raleigh! Going down to Raleigh! Oh, going down to Raleigh! Now, old Aunt Peg begun to frail. They got going on the Texas scales, hit my ears like an awful wail. I wish I could hear it again. No, oh, he had no use for the modern stuff. Back was strong, his hands were rough, but he rocked her old age. Sure enough, Aunt Peg's new old man. They played dances, made the rounds, gay lacks to Rocky Mount. The tunes they knew no one could count, it was all in their heads and hands. And you could do worse as a widow than to find a man to spade and hoe and raise a little hell with a long bow and page. New old man. Yes, she liked to spittle and love down, like his help on the rural route, and the rest I don't want to think about. And 